what's good family in this video i'm going to quickly show you the new gen audio a b assist plugin now if you are a pro tools 11 or 12 user this is a free download if you haven't grabbed it yet i urge you to do so it's a very nifty little utility i'm sure you will enjoy using i actually went on the new gen website to try to grab a copy for to use with logic it doesn't exist as far as I can tell. I couldn't find it on their website. I think this is an exclusive for Pro Tools users. Uh, if I'm wrong about that, please let me know. So what is it? It's pretty self-explanatory. It's a, it's a utility to compare two different audio sources, but it's kind of set up in a very elegant manner um, just to, you know, just to make your life easier, increase your workflow, etc. Now, how I'm using it, I'm using it to A, B, reference mixes so so normally what happens is my, my clients send me a f their files to mix and along with that they send me their their rough mix their reference mix and normally normally clients are in love with that with with their with their mix so so what i try to do is is kind of like compare what i'm doing to what they did and try to like you know keep keep the essence of of their of their vision but just kind of make it sound better Make it sound a little cleaner, clean up stuff. Uh, so you know, one you know, once so so usually my goal is you know at the bare minimum is is to beat the beat the reference mix. So so how how you set this up is very easy to do. So on your master fader, you want to insert. There's two parts of this plugin. So you want to insert the main part of this plugin, which is the new gen AB assist. So that goes onto your master fader. The audio track that you want to compare it to, you insert the new gen sin part of the plugin. So it's two parts. So once you've done that, it's pretty much set up. My main mix is on A. If I want to hear it, I just I hit click the big A button. New car, take a spin, money does. My reference track is on B. New car, take a spin, money doesn't make the man. So they've also included this slider here so you can level match the two audio sources. So, so normally what happens, we, we kind of tend to fool ourselves into thinking that the louder one sounds better. So what you want to do in this scenario is level match the two sources. New car, take a spin, money doesn't make the man. Prison walls, paper thin, El Chapo escaped again. The cartel killers pushing weed, crystal and powder, we're underground tunnel. And of course, we get the uh, the dreaded nine one seven three error. New car, take a spin. Money doesn't make the man. Prison walls, paper thin. El Chapo escaped again. Um. So yeah. So there it is. There. It's easy way to switch between two audio sources. I mean, yeah. I mean, of course, I could just you know solo solo my reference track. <clears throat> but then I gotta I gotta I gotta mute it. When I unsolo it, so it's like, like two steps. This makes it, you know, a little easier. Very easy way to to quickly switch between two sources. Now, if that if this plugin, it was if that's all it did, it would, you know, it would be cool enough on its own. But the other thing that's really dope about it is that you can do blind A B comparisons or tests. To do that, let's just say I had, you know, two separate uh, plugin chains set up, and I wanted to compare the two. So what I would do is I would click the test button and the screen will turn into an XY thing. So as you're as you're playing your audio. New car, take a spin, money doesn't make the man. Prison walls, paper thin, El Chapo escaped again. You can compare your two sources and then choose the one that you like. New car, take a spin. To make the man prison walls paper thin El Chapo escaped again the cartel killers pushing weed crystal and powder underground tunnels so so what, what what's going on is that it randomly switches between the two so it you're not really sure exactly which one you're picking um, and it kind of eliminates the the bias you know that we, that we tend to to insert into into our choices you know we might be you know we might like a certain plug-in, you know, better than the other, or like the way it looks. So this removes our, our you know, our built-in biases. Um, so you're not really quite sure which one you're choosing. And then what you do is you just go through 
you know, let's say you want to do this, you know, 10 times. Pick the one that you like the most. And once you've done that, you hit the reveal button and the plugin will show you which one you actually picked the most out of the, out of the blind selection process. So you can make a, you know, a unbiased, uh, unprejudiced decision on, on which sound you like the most. And when you're done with that, you can, you know, you can get resumed to, to pick some more or just in, in the test. So, I mean, that's basically it in a nutshell, the Nugent Audio AB Assist. Free download, Pro Tools 11 or 12 users. Grab it if you haven't done so, so far. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If not, thumbs down. Please subscribe if you enjoy this content, if it's helping you out in any way. Uh, if you don't know, now you know. Thanks for watching.